Antonio Dolmeus Nova Hollandi is the largest bird in the world after the ostrich. They can grow up to 190 centimeters in height. Apart from competing in terms of size, at first glance, these two giant bird species also look similar. E. Even though it is predicted to be the biggest bird, the emu actually has super mini wings. You know, if the emu bird can't fly, the second tallest flightless bird in the world. The emu has been named the second highest flightless bird in the world after the ostrich. Just imagine, with a height of 150-190 centimeters, most of us have to look up to be able to meet them directly. This bird also weighs 18 minus 60 kilograms, quoting from Animalia. Big body, but super mini wings. Even though the body is big, the size of this bird's wings is actually many. Quoting Treehugger, their wings are no more than 20 centimeters long. You know, then, why does this bird still have wings even though it has never been used to fly? The Australian Academy of Science explains that the wings of flightless birds, such as emus, ostriches, and penguins, are called vestigial structures. These structures used to have important functions in ancestors, but are no longer needed in their great-grandchildren or have other functions. Because it's not detrimental or difficult, in the end this structure is still owned by their great-grandchildren. Or maybe there is a special function of mini emu wings that we don't know about. What do you think? Strong legs enable the emu to accelerate 50 km or hour. Instead of tiny wings, emus have special and powerful legs. Animal diversity reveals that emus have calf muscles that no other bird species has. Instead of tiny wings, emus have special and powerful legs. Animal diversity reveals that emus have calf muscles that no other bird species has. With these legs, they can accelerate up to 50 kilometers per hour, said Animalia. As well as being excellent runners, emus are also skilled jumpers and swimmers. If their large body size and powerful legs don't make you tremble, you need to know the strength of their claws. According to Britannica, an emu's kick can disembowel an animal when conditions are right. Each toe of the emu has sharp claws that remind anyone of dinosaur feet. 
So far, emus' attacks on humans have not been fatal, but their attacks are considered common or not rare. Special bristles protect from the sun. The emu's habitat in Australia can have hot temperatures and bright sunlight. Animal diversity reveals that the emu's thick, rough fur, which is gray and brown in color, is specially designed so that sunlight cannot penetrate and penetrate the skin. The male emu incubates and raises the young. In emus, it is the female who is aggressive and can have several partners, Alka polyandry. The males are responsible for incubating the eggs and raising the children. According to Animalia, the male emu does not eat or drink while incubating the eggs. Therefore, usually they will reserve fat beforehand. After the eggs hatch, the male will raise the chicks for the next 5 minus 18 months.